Hi everyone, welcome to today's discussion on the three different ways to create a new project in GitLab. These three methods are create blank project, create from template and import project. As the name suggests, these options offer flexibility and cater to different project requirements. Let's explore each method in detail. The very first method is create blank project. The create blank project option is the simplest and most flexible. It allows you to build your project from the ground up, defining everything from scratch. This includes setting up the directory structure, adding files and configuring settings according to your specific needs. This is ideal for users who want complete control and customization over their project. These are the steps to create blank project in GitLab. Now, Let's see practically that how to create a blank project in GitLab. For that, start by clicking the new project option as shown over here in this GitLab interface. Here, click on create blank project option from the available methods. Over here, provide the required details. In the project name, I will enter temp1 as the project name. For project URL, select the group or namespace under which you want to place the project. You can create different groups using this groups option highlighted over here that we will see in coming few sessions. But right now I'm going with this users project slug will be automatically generated based on the project name. But if you want, you can modify it. Set the visibility level over here. Private means the project will only be visible to you and users with explicit permissions. Internal, the project is visible to any logged in user. Public, the project is visible to everyone regardless of whether they are logged in or not. So over here, I am using visibility level as private. Then in this project configuration options, initialize with readme. So check this box. If you want GitLab to automatically create a readme file for your project, if you prefer to create a readme manually or already have one, leave this box unchecked. Enable SAST. Select this option if you want GitLab to perform static application security testing to check for security vulnerabilities in your code. Finally, click on this create project button to complete the process and your new project will be created and displayed on the screen. Next, let's talk about create from template option. The create from template option is designed for efficiency and consistency. It's a perfect for teams and organizations that want to follow predefined structures and best practices. Templates can include commonly used files, directories and configurations, saving time and ensuring a standardized workflow. If you create a project from a template, you will typically need to modify the code or scripts or folders provided in the template to suit your specific requirements. These are the steps to create a new project from template. Now, let's see practically that how to create a project from template. For that, let me go to the dashboard. Over here, I will click on this option to go to the home page. Here, again, start by clicking on this option, new project. Then select the option create from template from the available methods. Over here, choose a template, select a predefined template from the available options such as Ruby on Rails, Spring, iOS, Android. So you have different options available over here. And if you want to go with the template that has been created by your organization, then you can go to this particular instance option or this group option. As of now, let's go with this built-in option and let's say we are going with this Ruby on Rail option. So if you want, you can uh, preview the files, folders, script, code, everything using this preview option. But as of now, I'm going to click on this use template button. Over here, same as earlier option of create blank project, you need to provide the project name. Over here, I will provide the project name as temp2. Then project URL. So here I'm going with user 9.1989. Project slug will be created automatically based on the project name. And if you want, you can modify it as well. And if you want to provide any description, you can provide it over here. And then set visibility level over here. I'm going with 
private visibility level and then click on this create project option and your project will be created and will be shown on the screen now let's talk about import project option the import project option allows you to bring an existing project into gitlab this is particularly useful when migrating from another version control system or when integrating with external repositories we will cover the details of how this works in an upcoming session in conclusion we can say that each method has its unique advantages the flexibility of the blank project option empowers users to start fresh when required while the template option streamlines the process for those seeking head start efficiency and consistency Finally the import project option simplifies the migration of existing projects into gitlab making it easier to consolidate your work stay tuned for our next session where we will dive deeper into the import project feature that's it for the day thank you everyone for watching this video